Hello everyone and welcome to Vegan Region. My name is V. I love a lot of vegan things, but mainly food. So we are starting off with these amazing nachos. To your pan you are going to add some olive oil, some chopped up mushrooms and you're going to cook these off with a little bit of soy sauce, add some vegan burgers, I'm still making my way through those 20 you guys, and then I'm going to add in some red onions, some spices, give it a little taste test just to make sure it's all okay, add some tomato puree and some extra spices and sauces and there you go. To make my cheese sauce I've got some melted Melted vegan butter, some cream cheese, this amazing vegan cheese, currently my favorite. I've grated it up and I've mixed it into that butter and cream cheese to make this smooth cheesy sauce. I've also made a little salsa on the side as well and I'm ready to assemble. I've got this guacamole from Lidl and it's absolutely vegan, no milk in there, thank you very much for that. And there you go, just like that, amazing, tasty vegan nachos. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. Time for this easy, crispy tofu dish. Okay, so I have drained my tofu using my dish rack, thank you very much. Did this for about 10 minutes and then chopped up my tofu until I had little cubes like this. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. And I added this to some Tupperware, popped in some corn flour, and then I gave it a little shake. <laughs> After that, I opened that lid up again, added some corn flour, pain, fl pain flour, plain flour, and some of my favorite spices until my tofu looks like this. And to a pan, I'm adding a generous amount of rapeseed oil just because it's light um, and quite nice to fry in. I'm waiting for that golden brown color that I'm after. Obviously, do this to your preference. And then to the same pan, I am adding some spring onion and frying them. In a bowl, I've got some white rice, which I cooked off in some vegetable broth just to give it some more flavor. I'm adding in the tofu back on there, adding some soy sauce, some sriracha sauce, and take a moment for this amazing, beautiful avocado. I mean, can we just? It's good. It's good. It's good. So I've got my avocado, some spring onions on top, added some sesame seeds on top of that, and there is my easy, crispy tofu. Now, if you love pizza but don't like feeling heavy after eating it, this one is for you. Puff pastry pizza, so easy, so quick, but still so tasty. So we're starting off with some mushrooms and garlic and soy sauce. You're going to cook that off until it looks a little something like this. Next up, I've got some puff pastry, which I'm just splitting in half and popping into a little casserole dish. And then I am using some tomato and basil pasta sauce, only about a tablespoon and a little bit, just enough to spread over the bottom. You don't want too much of this. I'm adding the same vegan cheese from earlier, which I've grated. And then I'm adding in some spinach, some sun-dried tomatoes and the mushroom we just cooked off, but feel free to add in whatever toppings you want on your pizza. I'm just folding down the sides and pressing it in with a fork to make sure it's a little bit more sealed, and then adding some vegan butter along the sides because I didn't have milk at the time, and finally sprinkling some rosemary on top of all of that. And this was my first attempt. I mean, the shambles, the trickery, the lies, the deceit. It was just awful. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? So I was really happy to have this as my second attempt. Oh, dog, you ruined my ASMR moment. Next up, we've got the coconut curry. I'm having mine with some rice on the side. So I've had some plain white rice, added a bit of turmeric and veg stock, stirred that up and let that cook off. And into a separate pan, I've got some coconut oil. I already used this pot to cook off some of the vegetables in the curry already, so that's why it looks a little bit dirty. But I'm also adding some garlic, some spring onion and regular onion, and I'm cooking that off until it's a little bit see-through. And then I'm adding one 
one teaspoon of turmeric, ground coriander, ground cumin, smoked paprika, and two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. I'm giving that a little bit of a mix, making sure to scrape the bottom of the pan just to make sure you're releasing all of those flavors. And then I'm adding in some cherry tomatoes, which I've cut in half and letting that cook off for a little bit. And then back to my rice, just as it's nearly about to run out of water, I'm adding in some peas and I'm making sure that's an even layer on the top. And then I'm popping the lid back on and I'm going to leave that to cook off and finish. And then back to the curry, I'm adding in some potato, which I've already boiled and some aubergine, which I already cooked in some coconut oil. To that I'm adding some salt and pepper and a can of coconut milk and I'm giving that a mix until it comes to a light bubble and then adding in some red curry paste. Keep continuously stirring and keeping an eye on it. Back to the rice, as you can see the peas have cooked through so I'm just going to take a fork and fluff that out and mix it in. I've been in the kitchen. Last but not least is Rachel Amma Spiced Aubergine Kebab with Tzatziki. So I've already chopped up some aubergine and I've got a little spice blend going on in this bowl. And I just added a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice just to make that paste consistency. I added it to my bowl and used my hands to make sure that the spice was evenly coated onto the aubergine and left that to sit to the side while I made this red pepper chili paste. Okay, so to a food processor, I'm adding a jar of roasted red peppers, some chilies, three cloves of roughly chopped garlic, some smoked sweet paprika, ground cumin and some fresh lemon juice as well, giving that a bit of a blitz and then emptying it out into a saucepan and heating that up until you get this consistency over here. I'm adding two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm also adding in a teaspoon of vegan white wine vinegar and giving that a good mix. Now I'm putting the aubergine into the pan. I was supposed to use a griddle, but I did not have one. So I just used a normal pan instead. And I also made this quick tzatziki using these ingredients on the screen. I'm ready to assemble. <laughs> So I started off with a layer of hummus, that red pepper sauce paste that we had going on. I cooked off some white rice just because I really wanted this to be filling, added in the aubergine and the parsley, some chopped tomatoes and red onion and the tzatziki of course. And I also drizzled a little bit of lemon juice as well on top of this and this slapped, let me just tell you. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a comment if you did and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos and I will see you next week. Bye.